But we are here. Hey, Scott. Hey, Coach. Go ahead and warm up. <laughs> Your son is a great player. But please, try to get him here on time. Otherwise, he's not gonna be able to play in- Right, right. Um, okay, I will. Uh, thank you. Isn't this the second time this week your son has been late? Yeah, it is. Um, it's just so hard juggling work and being a mom all by myself, you know? You don't have a husband to help you? Uh, no, it's just me. You're a single mom? Oh, that is such a shame. I'm... I'm sorry? And a father to be successful. Uh, I mean, it's proven that kids from single-parent homes end up on the streets. Wow. Uh, well, Tina, thank you for your... But that's not going to happen to my son. He's going to be just fine. <laughs> well, you don't have to get defensive about it. I'm just telling you the statistics. I mean, look at these kids with their dads. And who's helping your son? Nobody. Which is why he's never going to be any good at soccer. For your information. Hey, Mom. Check. Ah! <laughs> that is so good. Now get back out there and keep practicing with your dad. So. What tricks does your... <laughs> All right, honey. Good luck. Okay, what, okay. Oh, uh, what about my tie? Oh, oh uh, yeah. Uh, let me get... Okay. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll do. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mom. No, Scott was oh, in speech God. and debate. Uh, yeah, he just enrolled. And he's really excited about the upcoming tournament. Why does his suit look so big on him? Well, I bought it at the Goodwill. Um, it's in the perfect size. What? You bought him a used suit? And what is up with that tie? Look, criticizing everything about my son or the way that I parent. It, it's already hard enough being a single mom, okay? Okay, fine. Sheesh. Hi. Uh, are you serious right now? I, look, take a look around. Look at all these fathers who are helping their sons prepare. And who is helping you? Which is why he's never going to be able to compete against the other boys. Look, Tina, I am really getting tired of you. you Stating the facts? Oh, I know, honey. The truth hurts. Hey, sweetheart. You need anything? I'm good, thanks, Mom. There you are, and there you go. And I apologize for the... And the cute uniform. <laughs> hey, uh, let me know if you need anything else. I didn't realize you worked here. Who's watching Scott? With me, and he's right over there. That poor kid. He has to spend his weekends at a restaurant watching you work? Well, actually, he doesn't mind. And besides, it's a good way for him to get... Oh, wow, he doesn't have anyone to help him. My husband always helps Jeremy with his homework. That's why he gets such good grades. Well, I'm really happy for you. Really great, but anyhow, I've really got it. Oh, hey, he's probably going to graduate at the top of his class. I am so proud of him. Um, what kind of grades is Scott getting? I mean, 
since I had this. Seriously, enough with the single mother comments, Tina. Just because he doesn't have a father does not mean that he won't be successful. You see, when I found out, I, it was the happiest day of my life. Well, that is, until I told my husband. He didn't want to have any children or any responsibility. And I couldn't stop crying. And after Scott was born, I promised him that even though I was all by my, I was going to be the best mom that I could ever be to him to give him the best chance at success possible. And as he got older, even though I would be exhausted, sure, to help him prepare for everything that he wants to do in life. And I know it isn't ideal to have Scott wait around for me while I'm at work. I help him study so that he can be as successful as possible, even without a dad to help him. So you see, oh, I have half the help. I give my son twice as much love. And that is all that really matters. <laughs> this is the silliest thing I have ever Ever heard. But hey, if that makes you feel better, you just keep telling yourself that, okay, Samantha? <laughs> uh, excuse me, ma'am. Oh, hey, you better get going. They may need you to take their dirty plates away. <laughs> Samantha stands there so upset with what Tina just said. Next week, when the soccer match was taking place, both teams were tied two to two with seconds remaining. Tina's son gets the ball stolen from him and everyone thinks their team is except Samantha's son comes out of nowhere and takes back the ball. He kicks and scores the winning goal for his team. Everyone's so excited. Well, everyone at least. Then, at the speech and debate tournament, Tina's son gives a great speech to the entire class. Tina and her husband cheer their son on, so for him to win the competition. However, when the teacher goes to give the trophy, she walks right past Tina's son and gives it to Samantha's son instead, who gave the best overall speech. Her son are so excited, while Tina can't believe what just happened. And then, a few weeks later, Tina comes to pay Samantha a visit at the restaurant. Two spaghetti and meatballs. Is there anything else I can get you? 99 out of 100. Um, give me one second. What are you talking about? He got 99 out of 100 on his report card. <laughs> <sighs> wow. So you came all the way over here. Top of his class. <laughs> wow, Tina, that's really nice. I'm really happy for you. But now I really have to get hey, back whoa. to work. But I got my report card back and I got all A pluses. <laughs> what? Let me see that. 100 out of 100? No, no way. See, I told you. He was doing just fine. But how? How could you do that without a dad to help you? I don't need a dad. Look, I know that she has like half the amount of time to take care of me, but she gives me twice the amount of love. That's what really matters. <laughs> I 
and I am so proud of you. I love you too, Mom. Maybe we can all do like a TikTok video together. You're way too old. Does his followers? I was just trying to embarrass me. Just leave. by the way. No thanks. <laughs> I'll get a new one. Is anyone sus? Judah, aren't you gonna say red is sus? Nah, I've really matured. Because they're wearing the color red? It's really immature, Brittany. Are you serious? Okay, okay. I'm bop, 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 bop. Mom says we're not allowed to see where each other's voting. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Okay. Did everybody vote? They vote skip. Okay, Mom gave us each another list of tasks to do while we're on the airship, so get them done. And remember, there's still three imposters! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Making a burger task. Mm -hmm. Nice. Those are real too, aren't they? Yep, pretty much. And they're worth what? A couple million? <laughs> oh gosh, no. <sighs> Thank goodness. They've got to be at least 15 million. Okay. Oh. I didn't know you were wearing a hat. Just thought your eyebrows had gotten out of control. Also, why are you so angry? Okay, look, these eyebrows are actually a hat. Oh, you guys have the imposters and you're here to throw me out. Yes, but nicey. Cause we're nice imposters now. Ain't that right, Jocelyn? Yep. Yeah. Now we blow everybody out. Hee <laughs> Jocelyn, Jocelyn, we're nice imposters now, remember? Deep breaths. I'm the first one? I beat everyone else out here. Yes! Why are you wearing a fake mustache? It is fake! I was right! <laughs> Jocelyn, we're lost in the vent system again. Your Dexon is Taba. Let's go find a map. Come on, people! You grab one towel, then you reuse it throughout the day. <sighs> Sorry, shower task. Okay, what's the plan? As imposter, you've done this before. Yeah, but I just kinda wing it. You know, see what happens. That's not a real imposter plan. I don't know. It's worked 50-50% of the time so far. <laughs> the floor's just been waxed. Mom says no walking on it. Well, do you just bring the car over here? Yeah, but you see, then I'd have to ride it over and then I'd be stuck over there. I'm just gonna leave it here. Sorry. Will you come back? Dang it. <sighs> oh no. Did you just hear? Help, help, give me help. No. Hm. Ah. I was targeted. You see, Mary, if you were as good as a crewmate as me, you wouldn't have been thrown out as quick. All over the floor. <gasps> and so would have got Mary, Elijah, and William. <gasps> is anyone sus? Hey, Alessandra, want to see 900 IQ Big Brain play? Watch this. Mm -hmm. Daniel! The accusatory. 
story. Yeah, that's an imposter oh, movie. Come on, guys. I was with him the whole time I even saw him take out trash. He's just getting ahead of himself. He didn't just be All right. Judah, what are you doing? My task. You have a task right next to the meeting table? Yep. Wow. What's your task? Oh, uh, go to the furthest side of the airship. That's rough. Uh, Alessandra, when did you throw out Elijah? I didn't. I thought you did. Hmm. Don't look at me! Mm. What? No, this is a real task. Yeah, you're looking at me. Ah, this is a real task! Okay, Jocelyn, I'm gonna commit a crime. You're gonna close the door to cover our escape. Okay, I got this. <laughs> I'm closing the door. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Let's go this way. All right, Jocelyn, who'd they vote? They vote Dania. Jocelyn, who'd they really vote? They vote us. Bummer. Ah! <laughs> Leave the. Uh... Force I have it. Hmm. Micah was. Micah and said she wants to do trash. Yeah. Oh, I am never finding the light. Figures. Ah! Lights are back on. <laughs> you guys, where's Daniel? Are you kidding me? the decision and that is so much pressure. I know, right? Oh. Let's look at what we know. We traveled together for a while and Brittany was seen with all the people that were thrown out and Judah was thrown out last. Hmm, Judah. <gasps> Brittany would! It's Shiloh? That is so good. She threw me out and I'm not even mad. Okay, that was actually really impressive. You guys should have known it was Shiloh because she threw me out first because I would have found her out. Oh, oh my gosh, are you serious? Months ago, we were double gloving it at the ATM. Who the hell's getting enough? box of steam with strangers right now. <laughs> Bars can now serve drinks without having to serve food along with the drinks, which is great news for alcoholics who are getting very... Showers are unnecessary and actually are counterproductive when it comes to overall health. These are the doctors who don't get invited to the office Christmas party. <coughs> Another... Oh, I think I'm developing the COVID right now. <coughs> no, I'm okay. You yeah. don't have no ass. So I will put new butt... And a tummy top. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you could just have your stomach put around your behind and, you know? Yeah. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, thank it, you. It, you know? Yeah. Some of those Amazon butt lift leggings. And go ahead, show them off. Show us what you have now. This is the real product. We've ordered it. Look at that. Wow, your wife's gonna go crazy. When she gets it. <laughs> in Caitlin's take on a variety of subjects, including her inexplicable affection for Donald Trump. I think he did some things that I agreed with, some things I didn't agree with. What I liked about Donald Trump is he was a disruptor, you know? More. I can't walk down the streets and see the homeless. Ah, homeless people can't walk around them, can't fly over them, you know? <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> is it transphobic to call a trans person an ignorant a-hole? I mean, it, or does calling that trans person, you know, what she recommends? And here now, with some sage Mother's Day advice, please welcome my wife and mother to some of my children, Molly. Molly? <laughs> If you're wondering what to do for Mother's Day, Coal Miner Appreciation Day. You wouldn't climb down into a mine, hand your favorite coal miner a mimosa and a frame made of noodles, and say, thanks for everything you do. Now get back to doing it. If you really want to show appreciation for all... Yeah, I guess. See ya. You dropped your... All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we sent a Mother's Day uh, a camera a Mother's Day camera. They're very special cameras. We use them once a year. Watch Garfield for seven hours, then go to the trampoline park. Kim, let me ask you, what are some things you love about Mother's Day? I get to give my mom stuff. Chance, what are some of your favorite things about Mother's Day? I can honestly... To have the door burst open and to see your face. Thanks for watching. Remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets the Sophia before her poor arm falls right off? Anyone but Sophia who's answered the last five questions? Oh, jeez, just pick her already. No matter what, the class know-it-all will stop at nothing to show off how much they know on a topic. Okay, so Yes, I know this one! Oh, come on, stay awake here. What's she babbling about now? One plus one equals... Huh? Math is so n Oh, yeah. Uh, she's coming over here. Hi, Chloe. I wouldn't even mind if she had a couple pimples left. You're sick, bro. Is school even school with- why we brought in something more comfortable. Just wish it was a little lighter. <laughs> this is way better, thanks. Here's awesome! Did that seriously just happen? Are we learning stuff or what? Hey, uh, teach? Sorry. I'll be here if you need me, miss. You like school, don't you? Who's going first for a present horse before? Just imagine these are bales of hay! And then a big lizard comes in! And we lived happily ever after! Yes! Ha! Got it! Ra ra! So much! And for my presentation? Yeah, it's the latest TikTok dance. Ooh! So fun! You've gotta be kidding! So awesome! We did it, fam! Huh! Ugh, another Monday. You've gotta be kidding me! Did you know about this? I've got my work cut out for me! Oh, <laughs> this one's funny! The suspense is killing me! Well done! I'm really losing my patience here! I can't take much more! I'm so bored. This class is never ending. Like one. How's this? Uh, too depressing. Black's better for winter anyway. How about this beige purse? This is way better, right? I'll just grab a new one. Nice and shiny. Back to it. I forgot to tell you what else he said! Get out of here, tape! Oh, I'm so hungry. This was really perfect timing. Mmm.
to go more. Time for eating like the Flintstones ain't all fruity pebbles. So let's try caveman diets like some time traveling rebels. Welcome to the Paleo Zone. Yes, in every round there's going to be two dishes. They're both going to be paleo, but one of them is going to eat, 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 me eat. Oh, hungry. Ah. Uh. Okay. What if you were an actual Paleolithic human and you wanted to be vegan for some reason? Me, Greg. 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 Greg? No, Greg. Hello, Greg. Oh, Greg. Greg. Greg seems cool. Let's do Greg. 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 Gentlemen, please choose your spears. Choose. Oh, no, it hurts my voice. Yeah. We just do it at the beginning each time. All right, so you... So I get the power of peeking. Yeah, you take a peek there and I'm going to look at you. Greg made no. <laughs> Grog turns stone. Grog rotates Susan. Grog stro Susan. 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 No, no this. Susan's is here. This we call this Susan. Susan's here. Okay. I did not. Trail mix, basically. Caveman trail mix. Mmm. <laughs> cherries are kind. Oh my gosh! Huh? Whoa! Stop, 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 stop. Don't breathe in. <laughs> You're getting your cattail all over my trail mix. No mammal meat here. Enjoy. Mm. Who is that woman talking? Is that Susan? Um, that's God. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to pick that one. Put I it back. A little bit shorter. Okay. All right, peek, my friend. Grog just invent reverse psychology. Yeah. <laughs> All the way back to you. How do you feel about that? <laughs> How do you feel about reverse reverse psychology? Uh, I'm happy with this. Back nearly 12,000 years, but not all ancient humans had access to freshwater fish. Some had to get their protein from whatever was crawling around, hence those beetles. Uh, First of all, I mean, I know he's eating beetles over there, but I mean, this isn't great. I mean, grog like, grog like, grog like, grog like a lot. Is that grog liking? <laughs> a grog acting. Grog like acting from Greg. Grog, good actor. Since we're going back in time to the caveman days, we want you to go back in time to the early, early days of Josh, the mythical chef. You know, in 2016, he actually created- No way, there's no way I can get a longer one than that. Okay. okay. Right. So, I'm a peeker. You peek. Stupid. <laughs> I don't know what you've got in front of you, man. I don't know which thing it is. Please, yes, no, what? <laughs> uh, mine looks like some some fermented fruits uh, and uh, some drunk. some worms that are amongst them perhaps yeah th oh. that's uh that's early days of of getting getting drunk and then the caves retrieve honeycombs oh, smoke to eat bees? Them, so Man, straight yeah. honeycomb <laughs> you smoke bees oh yeah me smoke bees <laughs> oh my gosh what what oh, man. what is this like a dried up grub Grub? Yeah. Grog got grub. <laughs> Crunchy Grog. got grub. Grog got grub. Grog got grub. Greg watch Grog as Greg got grub. Greg watch Grog. Grog eat grub. We not hungry no more. Mm. Me satisfied. We full. Me no, no, not need eating anything. Grog? Greg feel sorry for Grog. Never felt before meat began. One way of prehistoric cooking included putting included putting pudding. meat. <laughs> I love pudding. pudding. This is the pudding room. Oh, oh, yeah, the pudding, pudding was paleo. Hungry. <laughs> included put
putting... Figure out which psychology you're doing, forwards or backwards. <laughs> He's going with a no reaction. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Grog happy. <laughs> really? <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you, oh! You must uh, eat long... Scares. Finding an herbivore carcass whose stomach uh, was full of plant-rich nutrients was a lucky two-course meal. So you're lucky for... Finding those intestines. And then, Link, that is uh, bison meat. Bison meat, very much better. Oh! Ooh. Good technique, I like it. That's awful. Literally. <laughs> very good. Um, um, very chewy. Give you protein. Eating the dookie shoot. <clears throat> Grog poke good. There's this one close-up shot that I have on my monitor that just looks like naked ret thigh, intestines on a rock, and then a spear coming in to his crotch. That's right. Fit <laughs> special handshake. Special handshake. Fresh prints. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, clicking bell. You know what time is? I don't. <laughs> I'm Rachel from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.